What's going on guys, this is Mike with Michael Anthony Studios and thank you for checking out my article in this month's Shutter Magazine. Guys, this month we were talking all about using reflectors in some conventional and some unconventional ways. When I first started out as a photographer, the reflector was the first tool that I added to my tool bag in order to manipulate light and just see if we can uh, get some different looking pictures than we, um, than we had been doing in the past. Uh, I often get bored of shooting in open shade. I think that uh, the light is just flat, it's uninteresting, and it's not different from everything that my other competitors are doing. Adding a reflector will just give you a little bit of a pop of light that can make your subjects glow or look a little bit more interesting, um, whether it's a wedding day or a portrait shoot or whatever else that you guys are shooting. Uh, the reflector that we currently use is the Raya 5-in-1, um, I think it's a 42-inch reflector. We got it off B&H for like 25 bucks. It is um, the most inexpensive tool that we have in our camera bag that we use the most often, should I say. Um, the reflector, as you saw in our article, has a bunch of different ways that you can use it, but some of my favorites are using that two light setup that I talked about. So in order to do this, we'll usually find a darker background and find a place that maybe the sun is filtering through the trees or it's just creating a little bit of a strip of light somewhere. And we'll place our subject with our back to that light and create that glow, that rim light right around them. Uh, and then we'll use that reflector and we'll hold it from a position higher than our heads and bounce light right back into our subject's face and we'll get this really, really beautiful contrasty glow to them. And you can use the silver side or the, wh the white side of the reflector depending on what look you're going for. The silver side will generally give you a little bit more contrast, but a little bit more specularity. The, uh, the white side is going to give you just um, a little bit more of a softer light, something a little bit more similar to a softbox or a, a white umbrella. Um, the other way that we love to use our reflector is by just using the insert inside of it, okay? So what we'll do is we'll put our subjects, again, with a dark background, uh, but their faces are going to be lit directly by the sun. And then we'll take that translucent side of that reflector and we will put it right in front of the sun in between our subject. It will create the most beautiful light that you've ever seen if you're doing a head and shoulders picture. It is just a very, very gorgeous, soft glow, and uh, you can position that reflector in order to get a nice triangle of light on your subject's face. It will look beautiful. If you're not doing this yet, I promise you'll love it. Uh, another way that we use it often is by using that translucent side as a uh, light modifier because, you know, as wedding photographers, oftentimes we're on the go, we're moving, and uh, sometimes I don't bring my lights, uh, I'm sorry, my light modifiers if we're, say, going into a getting ready room with a bride or if we're, uh, we're moving really, really quickly through a scene, we forget it for whatever reason. Um, that, that interior part of the reflector, the translucent side, can be used to modify your flash. So just like you would use the hard sun, place it in between your flash and your subject and you'll see that it creates a softbox quality light. We have some pictures in, uh, in our article of, uh, of my wife Jennifer who's modeling when we did this very technique and I promise you guys will like it. Um, another technique that we did not talk about in the article was using the black side of the reflector as a background on say your ring shots or your detail shots or maybe even a, a quick headshot. Um, if you have a background that's uninteresting or boring or maybe you're just trying to add a little bit of drama to your picture by creating that dark black background, you can use that um, that black side to uh, to basically become just a, a black shadowy background. And uh, I promise if that's the look you're going for, it'll come out really, really well. Conversely, if you guys want, you can use the white side of the reflector to have a blown out background as long as you light it. It'll look really, really well as well. Um, that black side of the reflector will also act as a, uh, a, not a diffuser, but it'll actually stop light from reflecting. And if you guys are looking for a dramatic portrait, you can place that on the other side of a reflective surface with your subject in between, and it'll cut back the light that's coming back onto your subject. So say you have some light on this side of your subject, and you turn their face toward the light, and you put your black side of the reflector on this side, it will cut light back that's coming back on this way and create that dark shadow on the uh, short side of the cheek that um, generally will look really, really good in a low-key portrait. So I hope you guys enjoyed our article this month. Uh, it, was, um, it was fun for me to write because I definitely love using reflectors. I love getting out there and shooting. Uh, I'd love to see what you guys create. So um, if you guys can, go ahead and get out there and shoot some stuff with your reflectors. Shoot it over to me at info at michaelanthonyphotography.com. Let me take a look at it. Love to see what you guys create after we do these videos every single month. Thank you again, and I'll see you guys next month.